All right, here's a look at the, uh, on this day in New Mexico, January 21st, 1999, there was record warmth in the state. High temperatures made it up to 80 degrees in Roswell. That was the warmest January temperature ever recorded in Roswell. Pretty crazy. Time now for the five facts. At number five, you can now see a professional golfer in New Mexico starring in a brand new campaign ad. Now, Jarena Pillar is an Olympian. She's a professional golfer and a Roswell native. She's also now the face for the LPGA's hashtag drive on campaign. Pillar is one of two people in LPGA history to be from New Mexico. She began playing when she was 15 years old, and she is now embarking on her 10th year on tour. You can see those ads right now. They are airing on YouTube as well as the Golf Channel. How cool is that? Good for her. Number four, medical students in New Mexico could soon have thousands of dollars invested in them to practice in underserved areas. That's if state lawmakers get their way. House Bill 159 looks to pull $500,000 from the general fund to give to UNM for the new program. The program would prepare medical students to stay in New Mexico and practice in underserved communities in the state. Of course, we'll be there today up in Santa Fe. We'll let you know what lawmakers do discuss. And at number three, we're in store for a beautiful weekend. Temperatures will be around five degrees above average, topping out at 53 degrees for Saturday and our Sunday. We are expecting some breezier conditions, especially along the east central plains for Saturday. Mostly sunny skies, though, all weekend long. Number two now this morning, APD is asking for your help searching for two teens who they say broke into a home, then shot a man in the leg. Police say the pair smashed a sliding glass door, then entered the home near 98th and Tower yesterday. These are images from the scene. The man who lives there confronted them. That's when police say he was shot in the leg. The homeowner's girlfriend locked herself in the bedroom during the ordeal. The teens were able to run off. And at number one, Albuquerque police will likely remain on scene for the morning near 98th and Gibson, investigating an officer-involved shooting. Now, people say that they woke up just after midnight to hearing gunshots. That's when officers say they were in the area investigating a shooting and when they tried to make an arrest, the suspect shot at them. That's when officers fired back, shooting him. Now, he was taken to the hospital. He was later released from the hospital, but immediately arrested, arrested by officers. Investigators say they're also looking into property damage that he may have caused out there on that scene. Again, they are warning you to stay away from that area this morning. That is over near 98th and Gibson. And again, once we get more <coughs> updates, we will bring them to you throughout the day and in later newscasts, as well as online at alwaysonkrqe.com.